Hey Luke here with CatsandCarp.com and we're going to melt this reel in this forge. Now I love destroying stuff as much as the next guy, but this is not a brand new reel. This is an Okuma Trios 55S and it's one of six that I've owned for several years. It's my primary catfishing reel and I love this reel. It's been a great reel for me, but unfortunately Friday, it met its match. Oh, my reel is having serious problems. So a moment of silence for the fallen. So we're going to send this reel off to the next life the same way we do Jedis and Vikings. We're going to burn it. And I've got my blacksmithing forge ready to go. This reel is made up of aircraft grade aluminum, carbon fiber, plastic, brass, some, probably some steel in here too. And we're going to see what happens when we get it really hot. Now this blacksmithing forge can melt aluminum and lead no problem. It can also melt steel and we're going to get it as hot as we can and we're going to throw this baby inside. <laughs> I don't know if you can see it, but there's blue flames coming out of the forge. That's probably like brass or copper burning off, be my guess. 
the pinion and part of the spool seems to be the only thing that's really steel. Everything else seems to have burned off. I'm gonna get that steel so hot, I'm gonna see if I can't melt it. As soon as we're done with this, I'm gonna burn off all the coals and then see what bits are left in the bottom of the forge. I got the metal red hot and really close to melting, but never quite got it there. And I kind of beat on it a little bit just for the heck of it, not sure why. And it really behaved differently than a, a lot of steel. So I think this might have been some sort of uh, real high tensile strength alloy or something because it was really tough. Even when it was straw yellow, it was really hard to beat. And, and so there were, I'm not sure what it was made out of, but it was pretty funky and it and, uh, just behave differently than most steel I've worked with. You know that saying, you play with fire, you're gonna get burned? <laughs> this is uh, my light that goes on my DSLR camera. And I need the light to help illuminate things because the fire's so bright it washes out everything. And uh, you can see what the heat of the forge did to my uh, my lens there just completely curled it. So lucky I didn't ruin my lens itself. It got really, really freaking hot. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna try to burn off the rest of these ashes and charcoal, and then I'm gonna fish through the sand and we're gonna see what's left over. I think we're gonna find a lot of different metals and things uh, that have congealed in the bottom of the sand. All right, we'll just let that sit for a little bit, let it cool down, and uh, we'll dig around and see what's in there. All right, let's see what remnants of the reel we can find. So, first off, the obvious piece is right there. That looks, looks and feels like a big glob of aluminum. Something, and there's this steel pin inside. It's really light, so it feels, I think this is aluminum and I think this is like steel or some sort of alloy. Oh, over here, look at this. Over here, I think some of the plastic melted and fell outside the fire when I was picking up with the tongs. So it looks like a, a washer, maybe a steel washer or something. And some more aluminum. Check this out. Oh, here we go. It's the mother load. Nah, here's here's the aluminum. Look at that. Big thing of aluminum. Some more aluminum. Aluminium. Look at that. That's some sort of pinion or something like that. It's another piece of alloy of some sort. Yeah, that looks like a ball bearing to me. Not so useful anymore though. Uh, some sort of plastic with a screw stuck in it. Oh. There's a big chunk of something. Feels heavier. That feels like that could be uh, brass or something. I don't know. Oh, here we go. Some more little chunks of mystery, plastic, metal, whatever. So if you've ever wondered what would happen if you put an Okuma Trios 55S in a blacksmithing forge, this happens. So remember kids, keep your reels away from blacksmiths. Well, hopefully you enjoyed that and uh, don't let my reel die in vain. Click like, share, subscribe. And if you wanna see more videos from the Catfish and Carp YouTube channel, Click subscribe, we put out multiple videos every week. And here's some more great videos from the Catfish and Carp YouTube channel. Check out my Walmart Catfish Bait Challenge and watch me do everything I can to destroy an Ugly Stick GX2. Thanks for watching and don't forget to click subscribe.